Hello everyone, Mixed Way Gaming here. Welcome to my channel. Today we're back here in Mech Arena, and today's the day. This morning they dropped the gear hub on us. Now I have not looked at it. I've seen, of course, some videos over the last little while of people who had kind of the brand new accounts like Scape did. He created a new account so we could look at the gear hub and do uh, some suggestions going forward about how you actually should make your way through it, which is extremely advantageous. If you haven't seen his series on that, I recommend you go uh, look at it. But for me, this is going to be my first impression real time. I do have a free to play account, but since I had created that before the gear hub came in, only the new accounts that were created after kind of the, the beta alpha testing, whatever it is they call it these days when they, they, they choose a, a specific subset of player base to do their testing. Uh, it was any new accounts after they implemented it that had access to the gear hub. So we're going to look at it here. We're going to see how bad it is, how good it is. No, my my initial impressions of the gear hub is I'm not I'm not really a huge fan of it. I understand the mechanisms behind it and how hopefully it will lead to better matchmaking. But I also feel it's a way that they are kind of enticing, I won't even say enticing, but forcing players to spend resources on things, uh, especially end game they have no business even having, because uh, it just it won't work in end game. So they're actually forcing players to. In order to go through the gear hub process and get into higher tiers, you have to use, you know, use your credits, your A coins, or your resources in order to level certain weapons and max up so you can progress the next tier. And many of these weapons and mechs that you're leveling up are not going to be advantageous to have leveled at all when you get into the mid to the end game. But uh, I, I, there are some pauses to it, I think. So let's just go in here, let's look at the gear hub, and let's see how bad it is for me currently, and see how far I can actually progress with given what I currently have. So let's go into the gear hub here. So as you can see, I haven't touched it at all, so I'm getting kind of these notices. Uh, so I have, so am I in, uh, so unlock, so am I in currently in tier seven? It says tier eight is unlocked at the top here, but there's nothing in tier eight, so. I'm not sure, d does this mean that I've unlocked everything I, I, I need to in order to progress through this thing? Uh, I really don't know. I expected uh, when I came in here, because I don't have all the weapons, I don't have all the mechs. I've only leveled up stuff in my current main hangar. So I just, I, I'm guessing this means that I, I have the max level. Or, oh no, so tier 8 is unlocked here it says unlocked so okay so i'm i'm confused i really thought i would have to come in here and get some stuff in order to physically unlock all the tiers but it says everything here is unlocked and i don't have any uh items up at the top where it says i need a certain amount of stars from the previous one to unlock the next tier i had heard that even if you had weapons or mechs that are in higher tiers uh it would still be locked but you could still use your weapons so you, you weren't kind of restricted to only using weapons and mechs in whatever tier you were currently in. Which of course makes sense for those players who actually want to spend money and buy these mechs and weapons. Because otherwise, if you were restricted that you couldn't use any mechs or weapons until you got to that tier where they were available, then it, you know, it, it wouldn't, people wouldn't want to go out and then spend money. So well, why am I going to spend money in the, on this crate rush to get this new mech or this new weapon? If it's going to be in a tier level that I don't even have unlocked yet. So I, I'm just, I, I'm shocked. I, I really thought I would be have to come in here and level some stuff up. Like you can see like the EM Rifles 10s, I don't have. Uh, and 7,000 A coins for, for an EM Rifle 10. That's a bit absurd. What? The EM Rifle 8 is 8,000 A coins, but yet the 10 version in the in tier 6 is 7? Okay, so some of these values are just completely off. That makes absolutely no sense. Why would you have to spend an extra 1,100 A coins to get a lower power we weapon of, of the same type? Okay, that's... Okay, yeah, some of this stuff is just really off. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, 7,000 credits for a Graviton Beam 10, but then the Graviton Beam 12 is 7,500 A coins. So again, I, I don't understand why one version is credits and the other one is A coins. Uh, why not just make it across the board? Like if, if you're going to be spending credits on a specific type of weapon, 
then you should be spending credits all the way through. And if you want to spend eight coins, then make it eight coins all the way through. Uh, is there anything else in here that we can look at? Uh, just lower level stuff. So the Gauss rifle is 675. Uh, Arc Torrent 6 is, I can't remember if that was the standard price before, if that's changed. Uh, I know there's a spreadsheet out there someplace, and again, uh, check Skate's channel. I think he had a link to it at some point. Uh, I can't remember who actually uh, created the initial spreadsheet of the the costs and the power levels and at various different stars, I even think. I think got to that level of detail. Otherwise, I, I would quote them right here and give them the credit for it. But I know it's out there someplace. Uh, so, yeah. So, I am really shocked here that I it looks like I have everything unlocked. Uh, if I don't, if I'm looking at this wrong, please let me know. Uh, but, yeah, I'm just, I'm really, really, really surprised. And there is no anything, anything beyond tier level 8, it looks like. So, I guess for me personally in my account, I am okay. Like, the gear hub doesn't affect me at all. Other than even the matchmaking. I think I'll be matched against players in tier level 8, I'm guessing. Maybe a combination of tier level 7 and 8. I, I don't know what the matchmaking, how it uses these tiers in order to uh, to determine what players you should be going against. But in the end, it really won't make much difference. I, I was going against max bots and stuff anyways. So I, you know, I don't really think the gear hub is going to have any effect to me personally. Uh, however, when I go in here... Um, what? Okay, yeah, in here. There, there's a gear hub tab now. And it looks like there's various tasks that will let you uh, unlock this minigun recoil. And so, reach division one. Now, here's uh, what I... Because I only... I looked at this really briefly, and then I decided I'm not going to look at it very much at all. So, I want, again, this to be a first reaction. I looked at here and it says, obtain two... Uh, okay, tier eight mechs. Uh, well, what are the tier eight mechs? Let's go back here in the tier eight because again, I'm just using my current hanger. Uh, so yeah, I don't have Onyx or Gatecrasher or Nomad. I I have a, the Bastion. So why does it say zero of two? It really these tasks really should unlock with what you currently have. Because if I'm going, <clears throat> excuse me, if I'm coming back in here again, I'm looking at the gear hub. It says obtain tier eight max. Well, I have one. I have the, the Bastion. And there are players out there that have most of the weapons and mechs as right now. So then they're going to be restricted to having to unlock these tasks in order to get this uh, mastery level stuff. Because it's as of right now, I do have the Bastion. It's a it's tier eight mech, but I don't have credit for it because it says obtain two of them. I have one. So why is it not saying that I already have one of two? So many of this stuff, it looks like it's only active for after the gear hub has gone live. So if you've upgraded any weapons or mechs, or if you've uh, obtained them, it doesn't look like this is actually counting what is currently in your inventory, which is an extreme bummer. This I don't like at all. Uh, if people have invested time in A coins and credits and resources into upgrading their mechs and weapons and obtaining them, uh, spending me real money in a lot of cases as well, well, they should have credit automatically out of the box to some of these tasks. So if a player had come in, and I know there are lots of players out there who in the gear hub, if you look at gear gear eight, they have Gatecrusher, Onyx, Nomad, and Bastion. And then they, they go into here and they go, oops, wrong one. If they go into their this tasks here, where was it here? Oops, oh, I keep hitting the wrong button. There we go. Into the dailies, into the gear hub task here. If they have all tier eight max, they, they can't even unlock this this task. That's that's just wrong. Plarium, like, you know, there's so people have to spend so much resources and time and money and effort into upgrading and obtaining these things. Uh, you should be giving them credit for in here because there are some players who they can't even do these tasks now because they are only active as of the time that the gear hub drops. And anything new that you do afterwards is what unlocks these tasks. That's an extreme, extreme disappointment. So let's go into chapter one here. So reach division 10, which yes, I've done. <clears throat> so spawn mechs with tier one uh, weapons five times. Oh, come on. Like it's, I I'm in division 10. I'm at like 10,000 uh, ranking. I would have done this in probably the first game or two of even starting this this uh the mech arena game 
as a new player. So why do I now have to go back and in the, the, the highest level of matchmaking, equip a, a tier one weapon and, and use it five times? <laughs> this, is, this is just absolutely insane. Like, okay, yes, I, see, at least I, I, when I've, I've unlocked these slots already, the, the number three and the number four slots, reach division nine. And then it says, uh, complete five achievements uh, for division two mechs. What, what are the five, five achievements for division two mechs? I don't even know, understand what that, that even says. What, what are these five achievements? It, it just, so here is, I, do they mean I have to, uh, I don't know. These are, yeah, these are the five, these are division two mechs. So do, oh, do they mean like in the achievements tab? So if I go under here into my achievements, I have to complete five achievements that are for one of those Division Two mechs. I, I'm guessing that's what that means. Uh, so for the go over to the Division Two mechs, so I have to do achievements for Puma or Slingshot or Juggernaut or MD. Oh God, that's and I have to do it in that the the highest level of matchmaking. Yeah, like that's going to happen. Like so, okay. So some of these uh, tasks here are not going to be very fun to try to do. So I guess we'll we'll, we'll do what we can going forward. I, I'm gonna no, I'm gonna look through this a lot more, but I'm not gonna bore you with it. But it looks like you no, know, a, a lot of these things are going to be kind of one and the same. You're stuck trying to use all these old style weapons and mechs in the, the higher gameplay in order just to try to unlock this stuff. So, and a lot of these, are, are these even worthwhile? So let's look at the chapter four mastery uh, options here. So we get an ability duration epic implant and we get an, a basic implant crate, which we know the chance of getting anything good out of is pretty slim. Uh, I think I've gotten one legendary implant out of opening all these basic crates that I've had ever since they came into the game. All right, so let's just keep going here. Uh, so at least there are spawn mechs with tier four weapons. So at least you can spawn it. Uh, you just go in. I, I, I think what I'm going to be doing for some of these things, at least the spawning ones, is just equip them, spawn in, drop the mech, uh, spawn in the next one, drop the mech. Yeah, I'm throwing a game. Uh, and this is unfortunately, I think, going to happen for quite a few players because they just they don't want to try and compete with these things in their hangar. But then, of course, if you have to have a teammate, a real player on your team, you're kind of throwing the match for them, which actually sucks. So if I do decide to do the, the what I'm talking about is going in, just equip and just drop the mechs and then get your last mech killed and then leave the battle so you still get credit for it. I'm going to try and do it so when, keep an eye out on the, the players and ensure that they're just all bots on my team when I go to do it. Uh, so division five, yeah, I'll, I'll look at again, see a complete five achievements for division five mechs. Uh, and then, so we have obtained two division six mechs and what, what are the division six mechs? So I need to obtain two. And of course the only two that are left to obtain for me is Sentinel and Orion. And so basically if I want to do it, I have to spend... You know, 375,000 credits and 3,700 A coins. And I really don't care about either one of them. Like, I, I'm I'm really happy with my hangar it is right now. It works. It's not the greatest, mind you, but it gets the job done for what I need and what I want. Like, I'm looking at tier 7 mechs. Uh, it's kind of, well, okay, so there's a little dollar sign with that Scorpius. I was like, I don't have the Scorpius uh eclipse has a dollar sign against it so these ones are still pay so you can't actually pay you know with credits or a coins there's a little tiny dollar sign on it so that's i guess those are the ones that haven't been quite released in these tiers yet for uh for, for consumption of just regular resources and i don't know what the time frame is before that will change over because you notice that you can use a coins for gate crasher and onyx so it looks like there is some kind of a time frame mechanism they have in place or are they thinking that they will uh, actually release the mech or the the weapon for resource uh being able to be bought in the gear hub but you know, i haven't seen anything from player i'm saying what that time frame is so anyways it's we'll we'll have to see going forward 
I, I think a lot of this stuff is doable. Oh, reach the master tournament bracket? Are you kidding? I hate playing tournament. Oh, I don't think I'm ever going to get that one. I, I really don't because you have to get two, uh, uh, I guess you have to do all eight. How many are, is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, God. So I'm going to have to play tournament if I want to actually unlock this reward for the railgun reload. Well, I actually think I have the legendary railgun reload implant. So screw that crap. And I, I, I'm hoping, I haven't looked at this one. I'm hoping there's not one in here to say the Reach Grandmaster. Let's see here. Okay. Oh, yeah, Reach Grandmaster. Oh, okay. You've got to be kidding. With all the play Okay. Okay. Now, now I'm livid and I'm annoyed. Tournaments are so faulty. The fact that they put in these tasks that rely on you, that you have to do this stuff for a tournament is absolutely insane. There's no, there's no way that a regular, no casual player, free to play player can get this. The people who get Grandmaster are the people who go in and spend loads of money. So they, they get a complete horde of, of the tournament tokens or keys, whatever you want to call them. So they go in and uh, they just, they grind tournament to a fall. Like, there's no way I'm going to try and reach Grandmaster. So I, I don't even care about getting to the next level after novice. I think it's professional. I, there was one time, probably, you know, a couple of months after they released the tournament mode and I did grind it. And I think I got to not the grandmaster, but the one right before it. Well, what was it? The, uh, the master level. And that was enough for me. I, I had it. I, I am not going to be grinding and spending hundreds of, of these uh, tournament tokens to, to go in and grind this, this stuff out, especially now that they have free for all as, as part of the tournaments. I hate free for all and just the it's faulty it's just the timing schedule for me the tournaments ends at like 2 a.m eastern standard time so if i want to try and grind something like the tournament are you telling me i have to stay up until 2 a.m uh, i don't think so so this is a huge huge disappointment so if i if i if i wanted to get this legendary implant for the mini minigun recoil which i don't think i have it'd be nice to have uh, uh, sorry i i am not going to try to get to grandmaster in order to do this the tournament system is so flawed, flawed, and so uh, catered to the big whales. It, it's it's not even worth it, honestly. I'll, I'll I'll wait until some point where if I really want that implant, uh, then I'll I'll wait for like a, a crate rush or something where they finally put it out for a coins or a credits, likely a coins, so that I can I can unlock that. Like, screw screw the amount of time and effort and and heartache and annoyance and frustration I'll have to do for all the for basically the whole week of the tournaments just to get to that grandmaster level. Sorry, I didn't want to get this to be in a rant. I was trying to be, uh, you know, up kind of a little bit more upbeat. And in the grand scheme of things, everything looked okay. It looked like it might be, uh, you no know, doable for both the free-to-play uh, side as well as the, the whales. Uh, except for the people who now I've looked through these tasks, there's things that players won't be able to get because they do have everything already. And now seeing this grandmaster, this master tournament stuff in here, where it, just the free-to-play players are not going to be able to get that. Uh, and, and all this is going to end up doing is leading to people trying to cheat the system by doing lowering their SP of their hangar and trying to go in and get uh, lower-ranked players, which I still don't think they've fully fixed. Uh, I've never done any testing for it, but I, I still see people out there swearing by it. So anyways, I, I'm a little bit disappointed. And this video has gotten a lot longer than I wanted it to be. But I, I, anyways, those are my first initial reactions. Maybe my uh, my tone might change a little bit, you know, over time. Uh, again, and I have to little bit, look a little bit more detail into the costs of these weapons and mechs, and the fact that you're getting them for a lower star rating, which means then you have to spend more uh, effort in getting the blueprints as well as more resources and upgrading them. Uh, I I I I, I kind of wish I could see all the aspects that's needed in order to level up through the tiers. Because I would like to be able to do a video on that. But unfortunately, as you can see in my main account here, at least I have everything unlocked. Uh, maybe I'll log on to my free-to-play account and I'll see how it looks there. But as of right now, I'm going to cut the video here. It's already you know, almost 20 minutes. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Uh, let me know in the comments below definitely what you think of the Gear Cub. Where you are, how much, how does it affect you. I'm interested in knowing. And uh, maybe I'll compile some of those together and I'll put them in another video when I go do a little bit more of a review, maybe on my free-to-play account. So anyways, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Until next time, cause some mayhem in the field for me.